Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 140. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of this episode, so if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I do have all these reads without any sort of censorship, no cat logo, and also you guys gain early access for the month. I do have it on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's get started. <laughs> Um, have you decided who you're going with? I don't know if there's anyone suitable. I'm going for her. That. Let her know that she's been hired and send her home quietly. Now. Can you ask everyone else to come back in? But, your majesty, that woman told a bare-faced lie. That's precisely why I'm hiring her. She's willing to go that far to receive my help. Empresses have the power to pardon up to three criminals per year. So she'll be forced to stay loyal to me in order to save her parents. But she still frames someone for her own gain. How could she employ such a person? Don't worry. <laughs> That wasn't the only test. I'm sorry for wrong, wrongly suspecting you. It'll be very embarrassing for me if there's this news word leaked to the public. Oh, can I trust all of you to keep this a secret? Yes, of course. But you won't say a word. <laughs> that night. Her Majesty's favorite pair of earrings have been stolen. Do you have any, do you know anything about what happened? Uh, well, the truth is, Her Majesty told us that she'd punish all of us if she wasn't able to find the culprit. Uh, no, I don't know anything about that. Some people are good at thinking on their feet. Other requires more time to find their footing. I don't need people with a conscience. You know, the people who lied as I requested when the Imperial Guards visited them last night. Hire them as my maids. And one more thing. <laughs> I should be able to host a tea party now that I have enough maids, right? Pardon? Issue an invitation to the nobles who live in the capital. But only invite the men. Huh, but... That might lead to unsavory rumors, your majesty. Oh, those nobles are always running their mouths about me anyway. Just do as I say. T if his majesty is seeking out other women, I'll give him a taste of his own medicine. Girl, you are... You're playing the wrong field here. He has the power. You're just an empress. Uh, what's it called? Like empress consort or whatever? Like he can evict you. You don't have that type of power. You are just, you just got placed there. You don't carry anything with you. She is so, not very bright. You wish to see me, your majesty? Nikki, new maid. I heard that you lost your job after your father went to prison for a serious offense. What sort of work were you doing that they thought it would be necessary to fire you? I worked at a, at a jeweler. Jeweler. Oh my, then you must have a good eye for valuable items. That's perfect. Huh? <laughs> The Remarried Empress, Episode 140 The Western Empire McKenna has been noticeably, noticeably happier since you started getting involved in the state affairs. Your Majesty already gave me the documents she admitted to fit the new imperial government system. Oh, impressed. <laughs> now all I have to do is review them and pass them along. My goodness. <laughs> he was so over the moon I thought he'd start floating away. The aides also said that your efficiency making, makes their heavy workload feel less discouraging. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. 
I heard you recently sent gifts to the high priest and princesses, Cer Cersei. The high priest will, has my gratitude, and Princess Cersei is an old friend. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're my empress. People speak highly of your impressive diplomatic connections. Oh, I was also told that you had a visit from Miss Merlaney and Yuan this morning. What did you ask them to do? He's particularly chatty today. I told them to gather information that's essential for our possible trade deal with loot. There's a great distance between our continents, and we are each unfamiliar with each other's cultures. Oh my gosh, the camels. So we need to find something to make the deal seem worthwhile, despite all these challenges. The Amari's family has a knack for business and has successfully managed several state-led initiatives. However, both Miss Merlaney and Yuan are new at this. Are you sure they can handle it? Miss Merlaney may be intelligent, but she doesn't have any hands-on experience to my knowledge. Similarly, Yuan has never spearheaded any business ventures. <laughs> of course, I'm not leaving everything up to them. Pardon? Then... The official research will be done separately. This is just a test to see which one of them is is more capable. A test? Huh. Miss Merlaney is not happy that Yuan will inherit the title, since she would have been the le legitimate, legitimate successor had he not been adopted. Miss Merlaney is all is my ally, so I believe she'll help me if I let her my lend her my support. Es establishing herself as the better candidate in her family is the first step. I see, but what if they're both incompetent? That means the Mar Amarius family is doomed no matter who inherits the title. In that case, I'll back Miss Merlaney as she's on my side. What if they're both capable, but Yuan is much more so that so than Miss Merlaney? Will you support Miss Merlaney in the name of friendship? <laughs> oh, does he find it amusing to make me answer such difficult questions? Hmm. I'll back whoever will be more helpful to me. I'll find another use for the other one. He's teasing pushed me to the respond. But what if he thinks I'm cold hearted? Your ice cold demeanor never fails to captivate me. <coughs> Why would that captivate him? <laughs> I can't believe he's making such a shameless remarks. Where did I, my shy and trembling bird, go? But I'm also worried. Worried? You're so busy these days that we rarely see each other, even though our offices are close. Huh? But we eat together every morning and we're dining together now. That's true, but... Her Majesty even reviews document in her bedchambers. She said that uh, what she used to do in the Eastern Empire. Huh, that's incredible! That is a lot of work. Huh? Ugh, I need to do something. Hmm. I had to come up with a strategy. Uh -huh. The remarried empress. Huh. So for Rosh to decide, we're kind of worried now because she's hiring a bunch of people who are lying on the behalf of her or for her. And like, that's kind of sketchy. What is she up to? I know she's she, as an empress, can pardon three criminals per year. So she's hiring a bunch of these people maids and i guess they're gonna do a lot of things and she's gonna play dumb because even though she's telling these people to do bad things for her she's gonna play a dumb and like oh my god how could you do that and pardon them and the others will be gonzo you know and at the same time because their parents are known to be bad doing criminal things and they're locked up right now you know, no one's going to feel bad for these girls who got caught doing bad things. And even if they say, oh, you know, Empress Rashta told them to do so, they're not going to believe it. They're like, oh, why would I believe a daughter of a criminal, you know? 
So Rashta is onto something. It's like a, a smart chess move, but going against someone else, they're going to dominate her. And for her to go back and like trying to get men to go to her tea party, trying to stir up the pot here and get like Sovetia to be upset, that's going to bite her really bad in the behind because she doesn't hold that type of power. She could be jealous all she wants, but to make the emperor jealous while he she has no sort of power is a bad move for her. Now for like, you know, Henry and Navier here, it's cute. Like he, they're so busy that they don't have time for each other. And now he wants to make time so they can spend more time together. So that's like a really sweet effort there. We need more, we need to be with men like that who, who sees and want to spend time with us, you know? Instead of guys who just wants to game and just go out and do things on their own and just like drop you there, you know? So it's a great read. I'm dissecting it. I may be wrong, but if you guys know more, feel free to drop it in the comment section, but I'm going to be checking out. I got to go now. But, alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>